Taylor here with what is a linked chart in Microsoft PowerPoint. So moving from Excel to PowerPoint, what is or what creates that link and how might those types of linked charts drive your team crazy if you choose to use them. And let's start off with how do linked charts work in Microsoft PowerPoint? So the way this works is if we start in Microsoft Excel and we have some data and we use that data to create a chart in Microsoft Excel, and if we then copy and paste that chart into PowerPoint, that chart is automatically a linked chart. So this chart in Microsoft PowerPoint references or refers to the external Excel spreadsheet for its data, all right? This data is not copy and pasted into Microsoft PowerPoint. In the same way, the chart in Microsoft Excel is also referencing the same data. Now, this is important because although this chart in Microsoft Excel and this chart in Microsoft PowerPoint might look the same, they're the same only in that they're referencing the same Excel spreadsheet or the same data range in that Excel spreadsheet. That means that if we change the formatting of one or the other, it's gonna have zero impact on the chart in Excel or the chart in PowerPoint. Again, these charts are only the same and that they're referencing the same external Excel spreadsheet data range. So let's look at linking an Excel chart into Microsoft PowerPoint such that as the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet or financial model updates, our charts inside Microsoft PowerPoint update as well. So here I have an Excel spreadsheet with some data and I've created a bar chart with right aligned bar chart categories, which if you want to learn how to right align your categories for your bar charts, check out my other video here on YouTube. Now we want to link this chart into PowerPoint such that as we update our data or our financial model updates, so do our charts in Microsoft PowerPoint. To do this, all we're gonna do is Control C to copy the chart that we've made in Excel, click into PowerPoint and hit Control V to paste. That's automatically gonna create a linked chart. And if you open up these paste options, you're gonna see that the default option is use destination theme and linked data. So the chart is going to default to your PowerPoint theme. You do have the option to keep source formatting and linked data, but I'm just gonna go with the default option. I'm gonna move it here to the right a little bit so it's closer to my Excel spreadsheet. Now, right off the bat, this chart in PowerPoint and this chart in Excel are the same chart only in that they are charting the same range of data. If I come into Excel and right click and say, fill this orange, notice that that orange fill does not translate here into PowerPoint. In the same way, if I come into my PowerPoint chart and I change this fill to black, for example, that black fill or any formatting is not gonna translate back to the chart that's in Microsoft Excel. That said, if we come in here and our financial model changes, so the 67 becomes 10,000 million, so $10 billion, notice that the chart in Excel and the chart in PowerPoint both automatically update. I'll hit Control Z to undo. So that's what people are going for. If I close out of Excel and you're in PowerPoint, I'm not gonna save my changes. How do you know you have a linked chart? If you right click your chart in PowerPoint and select edit data, notice that Excel spreadsheet opens and it tells me right at the top, this is a linked Excel spreadsheet, which means that any changes I make are gonna be saved to the Excel spreadsheet, which exists as its own external document on my desktop that does not, none of that data exists here in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now let's talk about some advantages and some disadvantages of linked charts. So moving from Excel to PowerPoint with a linked chart, what about this is great and what about this is gonna drive you crazy. And let's start off with the advantages. And the first advantage is that Excel is going to drive the data in your PowerPoint chart. So as your financial model numbers update or as your Excel spreadsheet updates, those updates are automatically gonna be pushed to your PowerPoint charts. That means you don't have to create both an Excel chart and a PowerPoint chart and make sure that your numbers are updated in both documents. Instead, you can simply drive all of your numbers from one place and have both your Excel charts and your PowerPoint or linked PowerPoint charts update. So that's the first advantage. Another advantage of linked PowerPoint charts or why people like them is that they are protected as view only. By that I mean, because we're using an external Excel spreadsheet to build our chart that we then push into Microsoft PowerPoint, which creates that linked chart, if someone only has access to our PowerPoint deck, well, they can view and look at our chart in Microsoft PowerPoint because they don't have our external Excel spreadsheet, they have no way to access the underlying data. And that way we can keep our Excel spreadsheet all of our data secure in our financial model, and we can still send around our PowerPoint deck knowing that someone can't come in and see all of our underlying numbers, assumptions, et cetera, or mess up our financial models. Now, one of the main disadvantages of linked charts is it's easy to create broken linked charts in PowerPoint. A broken linked chart is after you've used your numbers to hook up a linked chart in PowerPoint, you break that link, which looks like this. 
Back here in PowerPoint, our client has sent us this chart that we're supposed to update the numbers. We go and right click the chart and select edit data and we immediately get this linked file isn't available. So in this case, someone probably accidentally linked their charts, didn't realize it and has now sent it to us, but hasn't sent us their Excel spreadsheet. So this is now a broken link chart. To learn all about what broken link charts are and how to fix them and keep up to date on my latest PowerPoint hacks, tips and tricks, what I like to call PowerPoint hack trickery, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. The second disadvantage of link charts is that your team is gonna have to constantly reestablish those links. For example, if John starts out and creates a linked chart to the Excel model, and Sarah's supposed to work on it, so he sends both the deck and the financial model to Sarah, she's gonna have to, on her computer, reestablish those links. She finishes, she sends them to Paul. Paul is once again on his computer, gonna have to reestablish those links, and when he sends it back to John, you're gonna have to reestablish all of those links again. This is one reason why it's great to get your team all trained up to the same level in PowerPoint, but as it is, if you wanna learn how to relink charts, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube to see how to fix broken link charts in my next video. Now, if you've learned something new in Microsoft PowerPoint, please let me know with a thumbs up here on YouTube so I know what kind of content to continue to create for you. Your key takeaways from this video are, number one, to create a linked chart, you're simply gonna copy and paste a chart from Excel into PowerPoint, which automatically creates that linked chart. Number two, PowerPoint is linking to your Excel data only, not the Excel chart that you copy and paste into PowerPoint. From that point forward, the Excel data or the range in Excel is going to drive your PowerPoint chart. Just keep in mind that it is easy to create broken link charts as you get going with this. And if you need help understanding what a broken link chart is and how to fix it, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube to catch my next video. If you're just looking for some PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, including PDF cheat sheets, courses, and other free resources, make sure you check out the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.